Oh yeah. Um, good morning. Good morning. So, last night's vlog, I don't know what happened. Uh, Mike? Yeah. So, I have no idea. I edited the vlog like normal. I was trying to upload, or I was trying to export it actually. My beard is crazy. I was trying to export it. It kept failing. And then I rendered some files and did some deleted, just did some stuff. And then uh, I just uploaded it, I didn't watch it again. And then when it went up on YouTube, cut off the last few minutes of the vlog and replaced it with some weird ass Dirty Earn wedding footage that I have no idea where it even came from. I don't even, I can't even find that footage on my computer. So super weird, really don't know how it happened. It looks like I recorded over some of my old wedding video with my VHS. A uh, VHS for some of you guys is a tape we used to put in something called a VCR. Anyway, I have no idea how that happened, so I'm sorry. But at the same time, I thought it was hilarious, given the fact that Ern's not here, and there's this sort of weird, creepy video now. But uh, anyway, uh, funny stuff. But this morning, um, just headed up to the mountains today. So basically, this house is not very far from the mountain. You can actually see it. Assessing. Hey. Can have this. Go get it. Dude, you're making me like a dick. Go get it. <laughs> Why aren't you going to get it? Motherfucker. <laughs> I guess I'm playing fetch with myself at this point. Here. Come on. I have it. I have it. Come on. Ah. Come on. Yeah, this place is cool though. Uh, I found an Airbnb last minute. And this is it. Uh, this place is only $125 a night. And it's pretty awesome. Living room area, AKA Amar's playpen. Then we have this. Little dinette here. This is an interesting piece of furniture because one time I went on a uh, mountain retreat and ate mushrooms in the woods and they had the exact same table and chair set. Kind of freaked me out. Um, there's the kitchen and there's this little area here. A little dark, little dark game challenge. As you can already see, competition is heavy. And then you have this long hallway. It's kind of dark. There's lights. You have room number one. Room number one, we got a laundry. We got a bathroom. Bedroom number two. Bathroom number two. Connected to bedroom number three. And then out here, we go into bedroom number four, which is the one I've been sleeping in. I don't know why. I actually slept in it because it was the closest to the river. I'm here for another night, then I gotta find a new place. Cause I just wanna stay up at least until Friday. But I do have some shoes coming in the mail down there and some good stuff. I got good stuff coming. But probably stay up here until Friday, maybe through Monday. We'll see. Weekend skiing can kinda suck. On today's cooking show, I realized I was too stoned last night and I just kept burning toast. Granted, this toaster is the real issue because all I did was put it in there, but still. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I burned so much toast. What the fuck are you guys up to? I just watched your vlog right now. And the last part was a little creepy. Or trippy. My wife are trying to find out what the fuck is going on. Did Ern really late leave? Is that safe for Ern? We'll never see him again? Alright, it's time to go snowboarding. I'm out. See you on the hill. Nice day, huh? Gorgeous day. Sorry. Nice. And man, yeah. first season, baby. Nice. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, Steve. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Which worked out perfect. We got legal soon as I retired. Yeah, yeah, they just made it, they made it good for you. Huh? I know, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's such a cultural thing, too. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Anyone that can go in and lay down in 20 and do five shots and go driving. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. real smart. Yeah, I think, I mean, the older you get, I think you just realize that most of it's about control anyway. Yeah. We don't want you on weed, we want you on opiates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to 
want you to pay the doctor. <laughs> exactly. We need to get rich. Before I left my gloves at the apartment, but the people at Breggeridge have such a huge lost and found that they let me go through it and just pick out two gloves. So I got two different gloves for today. This one's kind of small, but. amazing out here today like this is fucking everything i just took my first run i'm gonna be here all day all day because i my gopro stopped working for some reason and this camera looks like shit i think this is real life and we're living it right now we almost ran in to those fucking moguls Oh, that was sketch. Now we are returning a lost pole to a skier. It's amazing, dude. It's like, I don't know, it's like one o'clock maybe. Even that late, I don't think. My GoPro died. I don't know what happened. It just like turned on this morning when I got here. I was working at the house. It's dead, so I couldn't film much today. This is amazing. I'm just exploring this mountain today. So, perfect weather. I had to put some clothes in a locker. It's great. Breckenridge, amazing. Great days off. I'm gonna keep riding. See you in a minute. Hey, hi, hi, hello. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh my Good boy. Okay, I am home. I'm fucking cooked. I don't even know how I'm standing up right now. It's like 3.30. Had a snowboarder for 9, 9.30, 10.30. A long 30s, a lot of 30. I'm tired. I'm gonna go sit in this hot tub. I was gonna try and make it into town. I don't know, right now I need to rest. So I'm gonna rest for a minute. And then we'll see. What a great day. What a great day. Okay, so. I am uh, without a doubt fucking exhausted right now. I'm running on fumes. I just ate some pasta. I'm beat, man. It was a long day on the hill. And then I'm going again tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I have to leave. Supposed to snow up here Friday and Saturday a little bit. So it'd be nice to stay. Hopefully catch like Friday and Saturdays kind of suck on the mountain. Well, Saturday kind of sucks on the mountain. But it'd be nice to catch some nice shit on Sunday, maybe Monday. But we'll see. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. I also have like a really, a really bunch of a lot awesome super hot shoes coming in the mail. So what I have coming is I have a pair of Y3s that not the Kasaris, it's like the Sayukus, or I, I really don't know. Triple Black 4.0, the BYW 5th Anniversary Ultra Boost. And then of course we have the Chinese New Year's, which I showed you guys the other day. And I wanted to review these for you tonight, but I really, I can't. Like the lighting is terrible in here. We're at the mercy of the light, always. The is not here, so no one can help me shoot them. Lighting, snow, there's just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of obstacles. So. I'm not gonna actually review these tonight. My first reaction on these though is that they are not as nice as the other Chinese New Year's, um, or at least they don't excite me as much. Really the only thing that stands out to me is the tongue. Like the tongue is, is super tough. For a Chinese New Year, they didn't really go crazy. The red sole is nice, but we've gotten the red sole before on 
enough models. But I think it's a nice shoe. It definitely looks nicer in person than it looks in the photos. And if it was just a regular Ultra Boost, which it came in a regular Ultra Boost box, which is another big thing. And I know it's not like a big deal and it doesn't really change the shoe definitely changes perception and just all the other Chinese New Year's came in a special box. So I don't, it just, I don't know. It just seems weird. The other models from the Chinese New Year set seem nicer than the Ultra Boost in this instance, but we'll take a look at them later when we get home because I want to compare them to the other ones and show off all the other Chinese New Year's and their boxes to kind of give it a full view. But um, I still like the shoe. I'm glad I got them. I just, I don't think it's as well thought out as some of the prior releases, but you know. Is what it is. Um, speaking of not well thought out. Okay, so I wasn't even going to talk about this, but I have a little bit of time and I don't know. I, li I literally keep getting asked all day long, all day long. Every other mention is either where is Earn or what do you think about the Nike, what the fuck is it even called? The Dash, what, what? The React. Oh yeah, the React, R-E-A-C-T. Because I think it's funny that it has the same amount of letters of boost, boost and React. They have kind of the same word boost react it's just like got that same vibe you know how car companies do that like pathfinder and explorer you know it's like there's always this like weird fucking like oh yeah you're gonna be that i'm gonna be this and so that's just it's weird to me i can't think of anything that boosts is based off of i mean i guess air i guess people can make the comparison air and boost but it's, that's kind of a reach anyway um so what do i think about the nike Dash. I mean, what the fuck? Uh, I don't even want to talk about this. Um, what do I think about the Nike React? Uh, I think that Nike... So for the people in the comments who are going to already be commenting blindly and just saying I hate Nike no matter what, it's not the truth. It's really not the case. I've even said that I think the nicer shoe that is released or that they've done this year is the Paul George PlayStation. I think that's at least well thought out. Um, but... This shoe in particular kind of makes me feel like Nike is just, it makes Nike look weak to me. It makes it look like they're playing to Adidas's hand and trying to make, like the Ultra Boost got so popular, you know, they wanted to make their own version of it. And that's literally what this shoe looks like. I mean, it looks like an exact copy of an Ultra Boost with some little hints of an alpha bounce. And it's just like, it's not cool. Like it's not, and the color, the original colorway it's come out in does not look good. That's some disco shit all the way. I don't understand the little, I, the salt, like, yeah, the whole shoe man like they copied everything like down to the marketing campaign of the shoe like blowing up on like foam balls and shit like it's just a straight up copy i would love not that i would love i don't really give a fuck if nike came out with something uh that was new and innovative that i actually liked like when i looked at it i was like oh i like that shoe we would have a different conversation um but that's not what they're doing here like this is a literal copy of another shoe and they're just trying to market it in their own way of course diehard nike i mean from a business perspective like, yeah, they're gonna sell a shitload of them and make it worth their money, I'm sure. Diehard Nike fans that are gonna try that shoe before they'd ever even put on a boost. So I get it, like I understand their position, but as far as like my perspective on the situation with Nike versus Adidas or like what I prefer or whose creativity I'm even a little bit impressed with, Nike's not doing it for me. But that's been my preach the whole time. It's never been like burn Nike to the ground. It's like the creativity is just kind of stopped. And that's some people's complaint about Ultra Boost there, you know, or even Adidas is like that their creativity. People can say they'll just put boost on anything, but that's not even true. If you look at the DBZ collab, new models, none of them have boost. Um, I'm not a fan of any of them because they don't have boost. I'm not saying that Nike shouldn't try to make something that's super comfortable, responsive, yada, yada, yada. There's been a lot of talk, you know, like this is going to be Nike's year and a lot of people are gassed off the off-white collab. Granted, this is not a retro. This is definitely a new model. I guess I just would expect them to come back with something different. Like, I respect the Vapor Max way more than I respect this shoe. It's down to everything. You know, maybe if it wasn't marketed this way, didn't have the same kind of naming, didn't have the exact same upper with the 1.0 looking toe box, steel cup, boost, like foam. The outsole is different, I'll give you that. It's not a continental rubber outsole, but it looks like some sort of tire tread that maybe rolled through some cotton candy. To sum it up, it's like, I don't want to sit around and talk shit about Nike. Like, obviously it triggers a lot of people when I like express an opinion and it'd be funny. You know, like I talk to you guys like I talk to all my friends. Fucking talk, and if we're talking shit to each other about shoes or whatever, you know, I just kind of do it the same way. I just call it how I see it. And it just doesn't seem very creative. You know, even some of the shoes are bringing back the shoes. Nike 180 Coma de Garçons, uh, looks like a Valentine's Day shoe. Everybody knows I love the Nike Air 180, but 
again, it's not creative. So, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, what's it gonna take to get you back on a Nike? And I don't know, you know, it's like, to me, the swoosh at this point, we're living in a different time. Like, at, at some point to me, the swoosh just kind of seems like a parody of itself. Like, it just like happens, you know, I don't know why my brain perceives it this way. I don't know what it is and like how I went from being, a, when you know, being a kid and sort of, I want to say that worshiping brand names, but when you're a kid and when you're in school and there's these brand names and you're trying to fit in and you just want to, you just want to get the stuff that other people have. And I feel like there's a lot of conditioning that's done that is undone. And I'm not trying to say that Adidas is in its own corporation, its own symbol, its own brand name of trying to fit in. Like I get it. They're all up on this corporate level, you know? All right, I'm just gonna say it. Nike's kind of making it look like they're Adidas's bitch. Like, it looks like they're chasing Adidas. They keep talking about how much more percent energy return is in each shoe. It's always like, oh, we've gotten this percentage now. It's like Razor commercials. Like, how many mock fucking 12s you, when are you going to get this? When are you gonna have that final form product? And I guess we don't, but I don't ever like hear that from Adidas. That's not something that I, this now has even more boost. Not that I can think of, you know, no one's like, we'll boost you even more. Like, you're not trying, they, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just different. It's just, it seems desperate to me. Uh, people are called the Ultra Boost Killer, which it can't be the Ultra Boost Killer if it's the Ultra Boost Copy. Some people say that I should try on these shoes and like give it a real comparison and that I'm just like too prideful or full of myself to do so. Not, if anyone wants to send me the shoe, I will try it on, but I do not plan on spending money on a shoe that is a copy of a shoe that I have over 200 pairs of already. If Nike wants my business, even though Nike tries to give me shit for free sometimes, but if Nike wants my business, they're gonna have to come with something completely different. That's it. I mean, British fucking knights could get my business if they came with something different. It's not if you who's typing the Puma comment in there with the Puma boost. It doesn't matter. Like that, sh that shoe also looks atrocious. It's a testament that you can't just slap boost on anything and make it hot. Boost in a Ziploc bag is still trash. That's all I gotta say about it. I'm going, I could rant about shoes for hours. I'm not going to. I'm gonna go and get it. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna smoke some joints. I'm gonna get ready to do this shit all over again tomorrow. Tomorrow, sorry for not a lot of snowboard footage vlog. Sorry for not a lot of snowboard footage vlog. Sorry for not having a lot of snowboard footage. My GoPro did not charge, which I'm sure I've already said, but tomorrow it will be charged and I'll have the new gimbal. Yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the Oakley Prism Infernos. This little battery pack right here charges you plug it into the wall, it comes with a battery. You literally just turn it on like that. Seriously, like that. It stays on all day. If your shit gets all foggy or wet or whatever, you literally hit this button right here, you press that. It runs a three minute cycle and it defogs. These are the best goggles that I've ever owned. I've owned and still own probably like four or five pairs of goggles from all kinds of different companies. Every single one of them fog because I, one, I run super hot, two, some of the headwear and shit I wear just is not helpful for not fogging. And um, yeah, and if I fall or anything like that and I'm, shit gets all in my goggles, it's just like hopeless. These have been perfect, hasn't been like crazy blizzard conditions, so I haven't had to use the defogger too much. But when I have had to use it, it's great. They seem to not fog up just in general as much, which is awesome. It's really, really helped me, like really helped me ride. So I love this, I love these goggles. Definitely my favorite pair so far. That's those, um, I found them for 200 bucks. I found them on Amazon, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, but yes, in an effort to help find Dirty Earn, we're releasing the Milk Carton Dirty Earn shirt. If you have any information, please keep calling the hotline. Make sure you're calling the tip line because we absolutely, you know, we gotta find. I miss them. I'm sorry that I yell at him so much. Need your tips to keep on coming through. That best tip is really, you know, it's really important. Um, we're looking for that one important tip that leads us to find him. You know, if your tip comes in, you'll be rewarded handsomely. Um, hopefully we find him. I'm gonna get out of here and see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace.